Whistles was blowing in the heel of the storm. The night was dark, clouded, and the weather was warm. The treetops was huddled together in the night, and the wind kind of whispered like a scared wind might. It was 48 hours from evening till morning on that big black night when John Henry was born. with its mighty wheel. He knew this was his calling. Railroad tracks was his son. And John Henry went to work on the sea and all land. My name's John Henry. I got muscles of steel and I was born three weeks ago. I reckon it's about time I got around to working. But there was trouble in the offing for the steel driving men. For the railroad bought an engine could do the work of tin. An engine that could hammer while the steel sparks flew. An engine most inhuman. All the inky. What are we going to do? That engine's going to take our jobs away. How are we going to drive steel when that engine does it better? Faster. Quicker. Deeper. Harder. Just leave everything to me. What you going to do? Name is John Henry. I aim to show up that engine. The inky pool? How you going to do that, Mr. Steel Driving Man? With my two bare hands. With my 30-pound hammer. But the Inky Pooh's an engine, a machine. You can't beat an engine. The man ain't born that can beat a machine. Ain't no machine made can beat a man. Once a man's got a mind, he can beat that machine. John Henry. The sun was a-blazing from the sky of blue. The day John Henry met the Inky Pooh. The Big Bend Tunnel was the place they had set for the steel driving race man would never forget to see young John Henry match his muscles and might against the Inky Pooh in a working fight. <laughs> Woman. I can't stand a fussing woman. No, John Henry, no. He beat the machine. He drove more steel. 
steel. Have a steel driving engine. <laughs> John Henry's day. Oh, John Henry was big. John Henry was strong. He bore good heart and felt good long. No, John Henry, no. You know, and I know, history has a way of making big men bigger and strong men stronger. And even if John Henry wasn't as big as the stories say he was big, or as strong as stories say he was strong, he was still a mighty man, a steel-driving man who worked with his helmets in the blazing sun and in the pouring rain, driving his steel, building a railroad, building a country. That's him, John Henry, an American worker. John Henry didn't die back there in Big Ben Tunnel. He just showed that a man can do anything a machine can do, if a man only has a mind to do it. No, John Henry didn't die. He just stopped living in his mammoth shack there beside the river and the railroad track. And he started in living in the hearts of men forever and a day. I want to cross over in the